Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about routing constraints specifically for subdomains and custom domains on your Rails application. So if you're gonna build a multi-tenant app like Shopify or Podia, where customers of your app will come in, they'll set up their own website and then have a subdomain they can go view it on, or uh, also set up their own custom domain. Your Rails app can actually look at the request that comes in, see the subdomain and the domain, and decide how to route that in the Rails routes using constraints. So um, we can't use localhost um, before we get into this. We have to switch to a domain. You can either do this locally by editing your Etsy host file, or you can use the LVHME um, domain, which actually is a points to 127001. So this is a really handy tool. You don't have to configure anything. You can just use this and um, access subdomains locally. Now Rails will protect against um, this because it basically has this new host authorization if you haven't played with it. Basically, you can configure your host to say, hey, these are the hosts that we will respond to. And by default, it's going to be localhost um, and so on but we want to be able to add our own domains in here. And we can also turn this feature off because our application, if it's going to support custom domains, isn't gonna know those domains ahead of time. They'll be added dynamically. And so we wanna turn this feature off if we're gonna do that. So let's go into our application.rb file and we'll add config.hosts equals nil in order to turn that off. And then we can restart our Rails server and you'll see this blocked host error goes away. So if we refresh this now, everything is good. That allows us now to start playing with our domains and our subdomains. So we can have test.lvh.me and our Rails app is going to respond to any um, request that comes to it. So that is good um, and gets us in a good place to start fiddling with constraints.